Hi everybody, Dave Yalovic with Homes Built Right. Welcome to another video. Uh, I'm, I'm starting a series on the 2021 IRC, the International Residential Code. I'm going to do seven videos because there's seven little subparts about glazing, about safety glazing. And we're going to find it where? We're going to find it in R308.4 and it talks about hazardous locations. That's, hey, where do you need safety glazing or tempered glass, things like that. Well, there's seven different things. And today, this video, we're going to talk about the first one, R30841, about when you've got doors that have glass in them, guess what? Got to be safety glass. It's a hazardous location. So let's take a look. Where does this come from? What are the words from the, the 2021 IRC? This is exactly what it says. Glazing and fixed and operable panels of what? Swinging, sliding, and bifold doors shall be considered to be a hazardous location. So when that kicks in, hey, you need safety glazing. Most of you know that. You're saying, hey, if I see a front door or a back door with a window in it, that's probably going to have that little, little thing down in the corner saying, hey, this is safety glass, tempered, whatever. And then same thing with sliding doors. Big, you know, If it's a door, it's going to be safety glass. Like all good code sections, there's what? There's some exceptions. And this particular section has two particular things. And the first one is, hey, glazed openings of a size through which a three inch sphere, diameter sphere is unable to pass, doesn't have to be safety glazing. And then the second one is, hey, if it's decorative glazing, what the heck is that? Well, I'll show you in just a second. Well, let's take a look at this one. This, this is the easy exception. And you can see, hey, if I've got, and I just use this as an example, but if you've got a front door or back to any door, that's got a little window in it and you know your fist or maybe a little, a little bit bigger than a baseball can't go through it then it doesn't have to be safety glazing these things are just at you know 2.98 inches and that thing would pass the test so no little windows like this would not need it that's exception number one now secondly this one decorative glazing i love this one what is decorative glazing? Well, you, you would look at doors like this and say, wow, beautiful leaded glass and things like this and all sorts of things. This one's a beautiful piece of art. To me, that is decorative glazing. Now, I would check with your authority having jurisdiction, your building official, and say, hey, you know, maybe you've got a weird door like this one coming up. But uh, it says what? A carved leaded or dolly glass or glazing material with a purpose that is decorative or artistic, not functional, with coloring, texture, or design qualities, or components that cannot be removed without destroying the glazing material, very important, and with a surface or assembly into which it is incorporated that is divided into segments. So that's the exception. So one is the three inch rule, that one's kind of common, and then one decorative glazing. So. That's really it. We're off and running on this quick little series on safety glazing. Again, we're going to be looking for another video coming up soon. Hope you'll join me. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to our channel down below. And I hope to see you on the next video from Homes Built Right. We'll see you soon.